Hello everybody, this is Les Taylor of lestaylorphoto.com and today I just wanted to give you a quick photo tip showing you how to take a photo with a sky like this and turn that sky into something nice and milky smooth like that. So we'll be taking it from this to that. Now I'm not going to show you the entire process, I'm not going to show you everything I did to make this photo look this way, there's more to it, but basically just wanted to show you um, the starting process to making the sky get that nice smooth feel to it. Now one of the things you can see here that I've done is I've made a duplicate of the top part of this layer. What I did is I did a quick selection and I refined it till I had exactly what I wanted it in this uh, upper part of the image where the sky is and then I just duplicated that one part of the image and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a blur just to that top part of the image and so I added that in a different layer so with that layer selected I'm going to go into filter blur gallery and path blur okay now path blur get rid of this one here path blur as the name implies it uh, it takes a blur and it does it along a path so uh, if you look at this I'll take uh, this and I'll drag that over this way and that creates a path um, for the blur to work along. And you already see, if I take the preview off, you can see it's already blurred it just a little bit. Now I'm going to take the speed of the blur, which is just kind of the strength of it basically, I'm going to put that up pretty strong. And I'm going to put the taper up. Um, if I take it all the way up, then what it's going to do is it's going to end up almost like it's undoing it. And I don't want it that much, but I also don't want it quite this strong. So I'm going to tape it somewhere, uh, put up the taper around somewhere, around half, somewhere in that, that area. And also, you can take the endpoint speed, which kind of you know, stretches out this a little bit more, a little bit more precisely. And uh, if you take it down again, it does kind of same thing. I don't like it that way, but I don't want it too strong because if you do it like that, to me, then it ends up just with a bunch of lines. That's not the way I want it to look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up somewhere just around maybe two thirds, somewhere in that way, a little bit above half. Okay. And uh, I like the way that that ends up looking. And so uh, if you take the preview off, you can see that's a before. And that's the after. And I'm not going to add this to the image right now. Um, but once you have done that blur, then you can, to the top part of this image, then you can edit that and you can do masking and do whatever you need to do to get it to fit into the image the way you want. And then uh, ultimately you get something more like this. And it's nice and smooth. And the reason that I like it in this image is because uh, in this, if you look at the top part of the sky here, to me, it just ends up being distracting a, a, a bit and uh, doesn't quite fit in with the image the way that I want it to. But this um, really keeps it from being distracting, in, in my mind anyway, and uh, it's nice and smooth and just fits the image a little bit better uh, for me. So uh, normally I don't do edits of that degree, but in this case I liked it and I thought maybe it would be helpful to show you uh, how you can do something like that for yourself. So I hope this tip has been helpful to you, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Thanks for watching. This has been Les Taylor of lestaylorphoto.com.